Hello everyone, it's Carrie Lenahan from Extensions by Carrie J and DJ Angie and Hi. we're coming to you live from Big Bear Mountain. Um, we are hanging out and uh, I needed to do my live video for today and first and foremost I want to acknowledge Janice Diedrich for her contribution to the Beachy Waves. If you haven't seen it yet, go back to my Beachy Waves tutorial. If you haven't watched it, watch that. But then after that, scroll down through the comments and watch Janice's link. She did a great tutorial on the Beachy Wave and a great product by Kenra, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm going to, the texture spray. So Janice, thank you. Super proud, that was awesome, rock on. Anybody else, you try any of the techniques, please post a picture or a video, even better. Come on, get on board, let's make it a community. So anyways, question for today is this. My mom made a comment or posted a comment that everyone's saying that hair extensions hurt your hair. So is this true? Um, yes, it can be true. If someone does your hair or hair extensions and they don't know what they're doing, absolutely. You can have some major issues and some major problems. So you need to make sure you're going to someone who knows what they are doing. Make sure they've done their training, do your research, um, and make sure that they know what they're doing. Um, but yes, hair extensions, they're constantly evolving. They start off with, you know, everything evolves, just like tools, products, everything always gets better with time and we're always solving problems. So when I started with hair extensions, I started with tape-ins, which were a sticky mess, um, easy to put in, but they were a pain in the ass to remove. And then I went to something that was kind of a hybrid and I loved them. Hello, Kim and Kim. We have two Kims online. This is DJ Angie oh, Ange here. Welcome. Hello. She's my DJ. I love having a live DJ. It's awesome. Plus she knows all the best music. Um, but with tape-ins, they have a nice finished look, and they, uh, but they're just really hard to move in and out. And I feel like we actually end up causing damage there. I do. Um, then I moved on to this hybrid, which were really difficult to hide, but easier on the hair. And then I tried more individuals that you could move up all the time. But I always felt like with individual techniques, you can see like the little strands and they look like noodles. And I feel like I can spot them a mile away. I'm like, oh, she has hair extensions. So with natural beaded rose, that's where I feel like out of all hair extension methods that I've tried, this one has the minimal point of contact, like the least amount of contacts on your scalp that there is tension on your hair. And the system is set up that we create a track and the track then distributes the weight of the hair throughout. So you're not putting a lot of weight on each little individual place. It's spread throughout, which takes um, a lot of the stress off of the hair as well as um, the hair is very lightweight. It's all hand tied hair. So the hair that we're using is literally tied by hand. Can you imagine having that job? Like you're literally tying little strings of hair to a little rope with thread one by one. So it actually um, uh, is very lightweight. So I, that's why I'm obsessed with natural beater rose. Like seriously, I have never, I got mine moved up yesterday. So by the way, this is day two mountain hair from NBR, Val, and Jill yesterday. So I didn't even wash my hair today. I brushed it, I curled a couple pieces, but that's it. And uh, I'm drinking champagne with Angie Ann. Oh, we lost her. Oh, she's changing it up on us. <laughs> like it. I thought we lost music, but. Um, so anyways, yes, there can be damage. With any hair extension method, any of them, all of them, you are compromising hair. And, but it's a matter of how much hair. I personally will never have long hair. I am not blessed with that gene. I will never have long hair. My hair would never do this ever. No matter how good I take care of it and how many products and how many Rogaines and everything else I use, I will never have this hair. So for me, it's worth it. And then when I'm over it and I wanna go to a cute short bob, no problem. I will cut it up here. I will have an adorable short bob. And then when I'm bored with that, I will put my extensions back in. But if I ever want to have long hair, the only way for me to get there is extensions. And I have to compromise a few hairs in the process. That's fine. But I'm going to make sure I compromise the least amount of hair possible to enjoy the hair that I have. Hi, Scott Stringfellow. Um, so anyways, we are in Big Bear, hanging out, listening to music. We're tired of the children. <laughs> So we are and outside. And hair looks great. And my hair, so does Angela's hair, look. Yeah. Did you do your hair today or is that mountain no, hair? No, this is from yesterday. Mountain this hair. Is my two day mountain I'm hair. telling you, we just need to move to the mountains, people, because you know what? <laughs> the hair in That's the right. mountains. Mountain hair don't care. Oh, hashtag. Mountain <laughs> hair don't care. Give us a tour. Oh, okay. Kimberly wants a tour of, hi, Lee. Oh my gosh, Lee Reed. It's been forever. So a tour of Big Bear. Well, let's see. Let's turn around and see here. 
this is our view. We are sitting out on the patio. Um, Mid-afternoon. There's no snow. No snow. Very warm, actually. We just got blankets because we were getting slightly chilly, but we're really not actually even cold, are we, G.J. Angie? No, and we're not No, because she's got the hot music going, so we're That's good. That's right. And the children, oh, there's one. Okay, the kids are okay. <laughs> They're over there somewhere. And the husbands are in the house. They just got back from the ski lodge. They were up there on the, the ski, ski lodge. And the ski lodge is walking distance yeah. over ski here. Ski lodge is about three blocks up that way and to the left. You can't see it from here, but it is there. And uh, we're staying at a friend's house. Angela, actually a good friend of theirs, their house. Mm -hmm. And um, we're hanging out. That's right. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Hi. Oh, and Angela, you remember Lee, right? Lee, I sure Lee, do. Lee? Oh, yeah. yeah, hi. Tell Renee and the kids hi. Come out and visit. You Absolutely. guys come visit us because we miss you guys. We'll go to the beach. Hi, Andrew. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll totally go to the beach. We'll so. test out the extensions at the beach when they get wet. Yes. Let's see what happens at the beach yeah. with the fur extensions. Let's see. Right, people? Mm -hmm. All right. So anyways, that's the video for today. Hair extensions. Mom, yes, there is some damage with hair extensions, but what you need to do is find the person who knows what they're doing. Me. That's right. And, um, like or that. anyone else in the MBR tribe, for that matter, because our training, we're, it's pretty gnarly. We have to practice every day. Angela will tell you. I was weaving hair last night at what midnight 11 yeah. o'clock i was working on my mannequin head and first thing this morning i was working on my mana he That's mannequin right. head so we're not screwing around this like legit man mm -hmm. so um but yeah make sure you're going to somebody who knows what they're doing and yes there's going to be some compromises but is it worth it 100 i don't know how to do percent percent so anyways <laughs> love you guys bye bye